Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> and today, I just want to show you. This is my uh, Halloween costume this year. Um, I'm actually finishing it up right now. But today, what I really want to talk about is our uh, just kind of arts in this country. And one of the reasons I think we're having an issue with arts dying out and that kind of stuff. Um, one of the things I really wanted to talk about relating to this, uh... It's actually wages. But one of the issues I think we're having is that we the minimum wage in our country needs to be higher. Um, it's it's too low right now, and the reason this is an issue for us artists is because if you really think about it, if there's not if if people don't have enough money, they're not going to be interested in buying arts. It, art is kind of like a a surplus thing, I guess. People use their surplus cash to buy things that they like, and things that they want. If you don't pay people enough, they're not going to be that interested in art because they won't really have the resources to buy it. That's a big problem. Uh, so, I think one of the reasons the arts are kind of dying out in our country is actually because our economy has been suffering a lot lately. Um, another reason is that we're not really teaching people to enjoy art. And I feel like people enjoy art the most if they learn it in school. Um, if actually, because when you do something, you kind of learn like the difficulties of it and that kind of stuff. So I think it's important for people to take art classes. Um, a lot of times our art teachers aren't that good, even in colleges, actually especially in colleges, and we're not paying our art teachers enough for them to actually care. Um, that's another big thing. but. The other thing is, is like if everybody's people aren't exposed to like the difficulties of making art, they don't really appreciate it as much. When I say art, you know, I, I hate generalizing, but I'm talking about like sculpture, especially sculpture, illustration, and uh, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, like uh, I, I've seen a lot of college professors who just they try and eliminate co they try and eliminate creativity, and they just do everything by the book. I actually had one college professor who, like, when I went in, I was looking for a kiln to be able to fire my ceramics and stuff like that. He flat out lied to me and said, we don't have a kiln, and he tried to kick me out of the uh, ceramic studio that they had. Um, he was kind of an asshole, but that wasn't my problem with him. My problem was, actually, uh, I was teaching a sculpture club at my school, and I found several people who were in his sculpture class. I just, I, I disagree with the way he ta taught sculpture. He kind of stomped on creativity. He didn't allow people to explore themselves, which is very important in sculpture, especially in the environment that we have today, where if you just make the same thing over and over and over again, or if you just learn how to do everything by the book, you won't really be able to branch out into unique things, which for sculpture is extremely important because we have so much competition with like machine-made art and that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, but the other problem was is that he got jealous of his students. Like my friend was a an amazing artist. The, the sculpture teacher is just such an ass for ass to him. Like just tried to fail him at every point. I also think the sculpture instructor instructor was racist. Um, and I almost hope he's listening to this so I can just tell him to fuck off. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what school. He probably doesn't know what I am. I mean, I know who I am. But, yeah, that was an issue. Uh, yeah. Um, kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent there. So, the point of this video is kind of like to show off my, uh, design skills. Not really. I'm just doing a Halloween costume. But, yeah. Uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, wait, where's my hand? Oh, there's my hand. Uh, I'm not feeling well. Uh, art stuff, art classes. I learned everything uh, I, I had to learn in high school, actually, because my art teacher took an interest in me. But the problem in my high school was I was taking too many fine arts classes because I was in symphony orchestra. And they weren't okay with that. And so they didn't allow me to take any art classes. So my art teacher in high school is a total sweetheart. Best, like, best person I've ever met. 
he kind of took me under his wing and taught me himself just on his own time, which is amazing. So that's how I learned. Uh, you gotta have a passionate art teacher to really learn. What was, uh, what was the other thing I was gonna talk about? Oh yes, so historically, a lot of the great artists, their inspiration to do beautiful things was because they had a patron. There's somebody who was paying them to do the art, paying partially, like, front up, you know, up front. Oh, God, I can't think right now. I should have had more coffee today. But, yeah, they had that, and today we don't have that kind of thing. Um, so we don't really have the art that we used to. Instead, today, um, I mean, this is a little bit of a stereotype, but there's reasons I say this. Are the people who pay that much money for art don't really pay for good art. Um, just an example is I went to a ceramics convention and there was a cordoned off area that was just modern art. And not like, you know, cool, interesting, psychedelic modern art. No, it, it was like things, stupid things, like a golf ball taped to a toilet seat. And they're just trying to explain it as a metaphor for society or some bullshit. And I hate that, you know? But everybody in that section, they're all dressed up, you know, like, overdressed, not kind of type. You could tell they're very wealthy. And these sculptures were going for, like, a million dollars. I'm not joking. Over a million. And the uh, sculpture convention was kind of ashamed of it. So they tried to cordon, <laughs> cordon that art off. But what really gets me is that... The only people interested in that kind of stuff were all the wealthy people, the wealthy patrons that, you know, pe people who actually are talented at art should be getting. So I think another reason why art's kind of dying is because to be an artist, you have to have skills in marketing. And most artists being kind of creative introverted types don't have that. Um... And it's, it's just like, or just don't have the freaking patience to, for that because all their passions invested in their artwork. And that's something I struggle with sometimes too. I'm not bad at marketing. I have good ideas for marketing. It's just like, sometimes I just don't give a fuck. I mean, excuse my language. I, I just don't care. Like, I don't want to spend all this time posting shit on Instagram, that kind of stuff. And it's just obnoxious. And it, and then that's another thing. Things with, with Instagram and that kind of stuff. Instagram, Facebook, whatever, they all have like an algorithm. You get noticed more if you post more. Well, if you're an artist who gets one absolutely fucking amazing piece out every six months or so, you're not going to get that many views. The only way you're really going to get um, noticed is by word of mouth or unless you have a sponsor, which doesn't always happen. So there's a lot of great artists out there, you know, who, who do these things and it takes so long. And the algorithm for the most of these sites favors almost entirely people who post consistently. And the other thing is that because there are a lot of really great artists out there, the competition is ridiculous. Or actually sometimes is not. Lately, it hasn't been, I think, because... Most of the really good artists just, just don't care. They just kind of focus, you know, they stay in their town and that kind of stuff and sell out of shops. It, it's just online. But that that's just how it goes. So it's just, it's hard. Um, it's kind of like acting in a sense where it's really difficult to fail. I mean, difficult to succeed, especially if you take a while to do a sculpture. Um, on the other hand, there are new, really incredible forms of art I'm, I think I'm screwing this up because I'm talking while doing this. <laughs> like, uh, tattoo. Tattooing's always been around, but, and I, I should probably research this before I say this, at least from what I've seen, modern tattooing is more complex than tattooing has ever been. And that that's just a new, really amazing form of art that we have. And video games are a form of art, too. And I feel like art would be, people would see art a lot, as a lot more important, and something you can really truly get a job in, if they realize just how much we are surrounded by artwork. Commercials, that kind of stuff, that, that they hire artists to design sets, you know, to do logos on things, and that kind of stuff, and video games. If you look at video games, just the variety of video games, 
there are so many of them and everything that you're looking at in a video game, which is the entire thing, you know, video game, is all artwork and animation too. So I really think that when schools are trying to take art out, they are, they're fucking themselves and they're being just incredibly stupid because they don't realize just how much art is literally in everything. You know? And also, if you look at, like, the most... Usually the most intelligent people also have a good skill at art and enjoy art. It kind of expands your ideas. It's... It's really an incredible thing that people are just... Uh, I'm not articulating very well right now. Because um, I'm trying to do two things at once. But yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. And I, I know I did another video, video on video games. Um, I, that's, I don't like the way that is. But yeah... Uh, I should probably do a longer video than this. Yeah, I could do a longer video. I started this, I don't really know how long ago. And, uh, just what I'm worried about is that I'm gonna finish this before I even go out. So I'll have done this huge, beautiful tattoo. And I'll just, the only, the only thing I'll, I'll have gotten out of this is this video. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little worried about that. I'm thinking of posting this on my Instagram, too. But yeah, it's, it's just, uh, I feel like the arts, peop, artists are really suffering because it is very difficult to be a successful artist. I'm lucky in that I can do sculptures and designs and drawings really quickly. Um, a lot of people can't, and for an understandable reason. Everybody just works at different paces. It's not even a skill thing half the time. It's literally just people work at different paces. Um, and you can do the same thing over and over again and increase the speed that you work at, but, you know, a lot of people like to t try new things. Um, yeah. Also, I really just do not think they teach sculpture correctly in our schools. I mean, my high school did, but I, I've seen a lot of other schools, just they don't teach it very well. Uh, we don't really value education that much, I think. It's, it's pretty sad. Oh, this is going to be a bitch to work on. Uh, so, when I post this, I don't know if I'm going to actually... I just want to say, like, this isn't lewd. It's my leg. What are we, in the 1950s? It is art. But if I get a copyright strike, I'm actually going to contest this, and I'm going to threaten to sue. Um, maybe I should take that out of the video. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I, I hear all sorts of stuff about their algorithm. Bad stuff. So. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, it's a video about art. And here's more art. Hey. This is really difficult. I think I'll post this on both of my channels, actually. I don't know, is that allowed? Actually, I'm probably just gonna look up the guidelines first before I do that. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna have to color in these spots. Uh, checking the time, that kind of stuff. Also, there's kind of a stereotype that artists are drug addicts, and I kind of don't like that stereotype for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'm not a drug addict. <laughs> you know, and uh, a lot of people, they'll go up, they'll go to artists looking for drugs. Um, oh, here's an interesting story to tell while I do this. Uh, this happens to me a lot, and uh, this is also like kind of a little bit of a warning to anyone who intends on doing this to me because I, I I don't like this like this this is this is stupid um so so what happens to me is somebody will be on Instagram and they'll like my art which 
you know, I like it when people like my art. Then they'll message me and ask to buy a sculpture. And they'll usually say, I want to buy a sculpture for my girlfriend. Um, and then I'll, I'll be like, okay, I'll do this contract for you. Uh, okay, you want this, blah, blah, blah. And usually what happens is I'll get another note saying, how how's the sculpture going? And I'll be like, okay, so how do you want to pay for this? And I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I didn't want a sculpture. I actually just wanted to date you. And I'll be like, dude, are you joking? Usually they're not. I've had this happen about, I think, six times now. So I'll, I'll be starting the sculpture. And I'll have it, you know, I'll be, I'll be working on it. And then I just, I just find out that this person's just hitting on me. <laughs> and just, just sent me that just to get my attention, to get me to look at the message. Um, one person did that and I'm actually friends with him, but that's cause I don't know. He's just a cool guy, but just, just don't do that, please. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a little, I don't know. I mean, I guess I can kind of understand because it's hard to get people's attention, especially because, you know, you just there's there's so much noise out there, so many people talking all the time on, online. And it, it, so I mean, I, I get that, but that's just it's just kind of obnoxious. <laughs> okay, this is this is getting bad. Um, I think it's getting. I I don't even know. Like when you're doing artwork and you're looking at it while you're doing it it looks worse and worse and worse the longer you look at it because you see all your flaws and for me it's, it's like this, this it just drives me up the wall like and I'll look at it like a day later and I'll be like wow that's beautiful or wow I was right that is total shit and then you just want to bash your head against the wall because it's <laughs> it's like artists are always their own worst enemies that's why so many do drugs. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. But no, not not all artists are drug addicts. I just thought that was funny that people think that a lot. I, I think it's because of the whole hippie thing. Although you look at people like Salvador Dali, eh, he did a lot of drugs. Um. Yeah. I hope I hope this video is not like really shaky. Because I don't have this camera set on anything. I'm just holding it like a dumbass. Maybe I should put like a warning because I'm cursing so much in this video. Ugh. Shoot. Where'd that go? I just misplaced a marker. Ouch. 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 I've been sitting in the same position for too long. <gasps> ouch. But yay. My progress. Okay. Um, <laughs> what else to talk about? Art and movies. That's a big one. Set design. Um, I met this one girl who actually did uh, the art for the panels on the Olympics. That was kind of cool. Um, there's a lot of uh, LGBTQ people in art, too. Hmm. I'm getting tired. I'm still gonna go out and like use do this. One of the reasons I do this is because I like to do it to advertise for my business. <laughs> so people will be like, "Hey, where'd you get that tattoo? Where'd you get that? Where can I get one?" I'd be like, "I did it." <sighs> I got markers, although. Oh, nice. It's 11.22. So, it's going to be the last two hours of the night. I'm probably going to finish the one on my arm or make it nicer. Um, yeah. I wish I, I had time to do this more. I mean, uh, do a better one on my arm. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. You can't see anything right now. Oh, shoot. I just put my foot in my pizza. I'm not eating that, I guess. I have a theme from Yu Yu Hakusho stuck in my head right now. <laughs> okay, 
this is actually getting kind of frustrating. It's just the angle and the light I can't see and I'm kind of rushing a little bit. Um, my uh, instructor used to say haste makes waste. I think that applies to a lot of people, but it kind of applies to me sometimes. But what I've learned is uh, one of the ways I, I do things is since I experiment a lot and I, I figure that I learn when I do things not rushed, but quickly. Sometimes I'll even ignore some of my mistakes so that in the next one I make, usually this is when I, I usually make series of sculptures, the next one I make will get better. And the next one after that I make will get better. So I'm not so much working on the sculptures as I am my art talent, which is actually something my uh, art teacher taught me um, because he told me that uh, Japanese uh, sculptors, actually, so, so it started with him, him saying, like, if you want to get truly good at, um, what was it, throwing pottery on the wheel, you cut all of your pots in half so that you can see the mistakes you made, I think is a kind of a beautiful concept. And then when you get good enough to sell them after years and years of, you know, mutilating your own pots, it's, you know, you're, the experience shows. But it's, it's the, because you're not working on the, the sculptures in particular. You're working on your skill. Oh, that actually works. <laughs> Found out that, that tightening up the muscle makes it easier to color on. Oh, that next part's going to be a bitch. Uh, maybe I just won't do that next part. No, I don't want to be lazy. But yeah. And I, I kind of do that with some of my sculptures. And then I, I use a lot of my lesser sculptures as uh, glaze testing pieces. <laughs> and and they, they come out really nice. And my parents are like, wow, that's so beautiful. And I'm like, that's, that's like one of my lesser sculptures. I was going to break that. <laughs> so, that's nice. Ugh. God. Maybe I shouldn't go out. I'm, I've been getting really bad allergies. But I put all this work out. I'm gonna put like two masks on. Uh, COVID hasn't been great for my art business. Um, before this, this uh, Charlie Foxtrot that we got here, I was, gonna, I was starting to go to art fairs and I was really enjoying it. And then, yeah, I'm gonna make it connect and look cool. All of a sudden, the world ends. The apocalypse starts. Ragnarok has begun! Alduin is broken out of his prison and is starting to... whatever. Um, Alduin's from, uh, Skyrim. Oh, shit. I hope that's not... I hope I can say that. <laughs> um. Yeah. I have no idea about copyright stuff. Oh, this is going to be a long video. I hope you guys are finding this interesting. You know, as I just blabber on and draw this thing on my leg. Um. No, I'm not going to wear a, a knee-length skirt. <laughs> Ugh, my sense of humor is terrible. <sighs> Let's see. Thanks. Intricate color. Uh, uh, an interesting thing about the color pink. This is like a podcast for myself. I'm going to get somebody else on. next. Well, for some of my later videos, I'm going to get other people on. This is ridiculous. Uh, and somebody actually hold the goddamn camera. Okay, I think that's actually... Shit. Oh, it should be it for my leg. Um... I gotta make this bright. <gasps> no! Oh, good. Didn't get too much on my hand. Oh, and then another color there. And the end of the world begins. I'm trying an edgy voice. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Yay! That's it for the leg! I hope it looks good. Get a better lighting here. And yes. No. 
I, I missed a lot of spots, I know. I, I'm gonna get different color markers. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah. Different color markers and that kind of stuff. Here you go. I hope it looks good. I'm gonna know if it looks good or bad tomorrow. Which is probably gonna be after I post this. There we go. Uh, 